smashing cars and wildly swinging a hammer at his neighbors. Tonight, a man is taken down by a bullet as he terrorizes people living on his own street in Scripps Ranch. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton arrived on the scene moments after the gunfire rang out. Riel? And this was a scene that involves nearly this entire neighborhood. I don't know if you could see, but the crime tape here stretches all the way back to the end of this street. This normally ultra quiet cul-de-sac and Scripps Ranch terrorized by a man who police say was having a psychotic breakdown. Now, this all started just after 7 tonight. Police say the 28-year-old man was carrying a hammer and a knife, running up and down his street, screaming, chasing his neighbors, and damaging their property. They say he hit maybe 8 to 10 cars on the block, only to be stopped when he got into a confrontation with a neighbor in a yard who shot him once in the head. Now, we watched a man being interviewed by police out here for hours, who, or for a very long time, who appeared to be very distraught. We don't know it, if he's involved, but it looked like, again, he was being questioned for a very long time. Police say at this point in the investigation, the shooter will not be arrested because it appears he was acting in self-defense. Meantime, though, that 28-year-old who was shot did survive. He, though, is now facing numerous charges, including vandalism to all those cars and property here. Cops out here tell us they're still trying to tally all of that damage. The man who was shot, he was taken to the hospital. His family does live here. According to police, he does have a history of mental illness. Again, he is expected to survive and could even be released from the hospital, we understand, by as early as tomorrow. We're live in Scripps Ranch tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.